We now have enough souls to call the mothership. All the way out! Yes, but we need one more. The girl. Tonight. We have all the souls we need right here. Come Ransom is a year old and weighs in at 220 pounds. As of Saturday, he had been at the shelter for two weeks. Those who would consider adopting him might be interested in knowing that he's housebroken and loves dogs and cats. Since Ransom is such a big pig, he's not allowed to live within the city limits. To see more pictures of animals up for adoption, go to the city's website. Students face many hazards getting off of the bus near the Colony Apartments and Bobcat Village. The main danger is the four lanes of heavy traffic that's between the bus stop and their homes. This is very dangerous because the cars driving down Ocarina Springs are traveling at a pretty good rate at about 40, 45 miles an hour pretty constantly. And it's heavy traffic. There's not a lot of break in the traffic that's conducive to people trying to walk across the street. For many students, this has become a normal part of their daily routine. Some students call it playing Frogger and have developed their own strategies for crossing the road. The biggest thing for me is just that first lane. You get through the first lane and the second one, because everybody tries to hop out of the lane to pass the bus that stop, that's really the only one that scares me because They've got the turning lane, which is really the pedestrian standing lane. Obvious solutions to this problem would be to install more stoplights or construct crosswalks on Ocarina Springs Drive. Building crosswalks have taken a back seat to other building projects, including the proposed overpass the city hopes to build over the railroad tracks near Bobcat Stadium. So this is where it happens. This is where students come to try to go home. They stop at this bus stop right here, and they try to make it to the apartment complex right here. The only problem is, there's two lanes of traffic, and people are going 45 miles an hour. That's a lot more stressful than just a test. For Bobcat Update, I'm Sam Palisoto.